Why doesn't the Queen need a passport or driver's license? Can she really shoot a gun in real life? And does Her Majesty really drink up to four cocktails every day? Hi, I'm Joy, and in the name of the Queen, let's start. Number 10. I'm still alive. Queen Elizabeth II is 94 now, and there's no doubt that she's the longest reigning monarch in the world. We have a theory about what's helped her stay healthy and clear-headed all this time. It's her self-irony. A couple of years ago, when Northern Ireland's Deputy First Minister Martin McGuinness asked the Queen if she was well, Her Majesty didn't hesitate to answer. Thank you very much. I'm still alive. Because when you're over 90 years old, you learn to appreciate the basic things. Another example of Her Majesty showing irony about her age happened in Malta. During the Commonwealth Summit, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau delivered the toast to the Queen, honoring her more than 60 years on the throne. And Her Majesty's answer was simply amazing. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister of Canada, for making me feel so old. But the truth is that the Queen is not just fine in her advanced years, she's still really active. And she does things other people her age might not still be able to do. Like… Number 9. Drive her car and ride a horse at the age of 93, the Queen was spotted driving her Range Rover at the Royal Windsor Horse Show. Unfortunately, we don't have a video of her latest drive, but this photo looks very convincing. Or this one, when she drove with her corgis recently. Pretty cool, huh? The story about how exactly she learned to drive a car is pretty impressive. And we'll get back to it soon, so stay tuned, folks. The fun fact here is that the Queen doesn't even need a license to drive. Any ideas why? Oh, it's simple. Because all the driver's licenses in the UK are issued in the Queen's name. So it's really unnecessary for Her Majesty to have a license. Or even a passport. Yep, the Queen doesn't have one because she herself is a living passport. An even more impressive fact about Her Majesty is that she can still ride a horse. Just a couple of months ago, the monarch was spotted on a ride at Windsor Castle. Because what else can you do in isolation, right? Her Majesty's love of horses goes way back to her childhood. And there's only one animal that the Queen loves more. Number 8. Her Majesty's Corgi Army Everyone knows that the monarch adores corgis. But do you know how many dogs she's owned? 5? 10? 20? Nope, nope, and nope. How about more than 30? Yes, during her long and intense reign, the Queen has taken care of dozens of the adorable dogs. According to Vanity Fair, the Queen got her first ever corgi at the age of seven, and since then, she fell in love with the species. The Queen walks her army every day, she takes them everywhere with her, even on flights. She also organized a special royal diet for them with their personal chef. She's bought them tons of individual Christmas stockings with treats to pamper them with. And no one is allowed to forbid the dogs from doing anything. Exactly. Anything. As the author Brian Hoey, who visited the palace, wrote in his book, Not in Front of the Corgis, the dogs were not fully house-trained. So a supply of soda water and blotting paper is kept at hand just in case of any little accidents. The royal family, the royal rules for the dogs. Number 7. The first monarch to send an email Well, that's a pretty badass achievement. The Queen sent her very first email back in 1976. Isn't that mind-blowing? Most people didn't even know the internet existed back in those days, while Her Majesty operated it from an army base. If this doesn't impress you, what about this next fact? Even before sending her first email, the Queen sent a message to the moon. It was a message of goodwill during the Apollo 11 landing. The astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took a silicon disk to the moon that contained messages from various world leaders. The Telegraph recalls the two sentences that the monarch wrote. On behalf of the British people, I salute the skill and courage which have brought men to the moon. May this endeavor increase the knowledge and well-being of mankind. Will the Queen send her message to Mars in the near future? We'll see! Number 6. The Photobombed Selfie Riding cars and horses and sending a message to the moon is indeed impressive. But do you know what can be even more badass? Being modern and ready to photobomb random selfies. During the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, the Queen didn't hesitate to surprise two members of the Australian women's hockey team. Her Majesty noticed them taking a selfie and… she just got in the shots. Cause why not? 
Ah, the Queen photobombed our selfie. Hockey player Jade Taylor wrote on Twitter. Personally to me, this photo is both cool and creepy at the same time because it gives you the feeling that Her Majesty is always watching you. Am I the only one here? Number 5. Her Majesty's Daily Alcohol Intake A couple of years ago, there was a weird accidental rumor spread by the business insider and independent. Listen, it's hilarious. According to these sources, Her Majesty starts her day with a gin cocktail. During lunch, she continues with wine, and she ends the day with a dry martini and a glass of champagne, which makes four cocktails in total every day. Despite the fact that the Queen indeed enjoys a drink, her routine was super exaggerated. This is what the former royal chef Darren McGrady tried to clarify in his later interview to CNN. She'd be pickled if she drank that much. All I said was that she likes a gin and dubonet. That's her favorite drink. The chef blamed the misunderstanding on his accent and a very bad phone connection. Hmm. Can we trust this man? Or does Her Majesty indeed have a Churchill-style habit of drinking? You decide. Number 4. James Bond Cameo Good evening, Mr. Bond. Good evening, Her Majesty. Especially for the London Olympic ceremony, Her Majesty agreed to film a hilarious sketch with Daniel Craig as James Bond, and with her corgis, of course. In this sketch, the Queen and Bond are in a helicopter flying over the London arena and jump with a parachute straight into the stadium. Add James Bond's epic theme song to this and you get the perfect badass arrival at the London arena. Of course, the Queen didn't really jump, but I kind of have a feeling that she could have actually done that jump. Number 4. She knows how to shoot a gun Seriously, check out this photo. It was taken during a royal visit to Surrey's National Shooting Center, when Her Majesty couldn't resist and fired this massive battle rifle. I know what you're thinking, it was all for show. Just take a look at this officer's face. He's smiling like he doesn't believe the Queen can actually shoot a gun, but the truth is Her Majesty learned to handle firearms way back in her childhood. It's been said in the Channel 4 documentary that Winston Churchill sent King George VI his Tommy gun as a gift. The young Elizabeth was only 14 at the time, but she was so excited about the Tommy gun that she asked her father if she could practice shooting, and he totally approved. So next time you're doubting Her Majesty's temper, think twice. I wonder if she needs permission to carry a gun, or does it work the same as with a passport and driver's license? Or maybe the gun in the Queen's hands is permission itself. Number 2. Alone Against an Intruder Imagine the Queen sleeping peacefully in her gorgeous chamber in Buckingham Palace, when all of a sudden a strange man walks into her room. His hand was bleeding and his look was far from decent. This was the real tense situation that took place in 1982, and luckily Queen Elizabeth was bold enough to deal with it all by herself. Well, at least for 10 minutes. The Queen quickly realized that it would take some time before anyone would come to the chamber and help her, so she started to chat with the intruder in order to play for some time. They talked about multiple things, about the intruder's family life, his four kids, his personal problems, and stuff like that. Finally, help arrived and the man was arrested. Soon after, it became clear that he'd broken into the palace twice. The first time, he secretly drank from Prince Charles's white wine bottle and left the palace unseen. It was confirmed that the intruder had a mental disorder, and he was placed in a psychiatric hospital. Now, this next point is so badass, it just had to make number one on our list. Number one, served in World War II. Did you know this fact? At the age of 18, the Queen, or should I rather say, the then Princess, joined the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service. Yes, young Elizabeth served as an ambulance driver and a mechanic in World War II. And that's where she learned how to drive so well. Another interesting thing is that her father, who was the King of the United Kingdom at the time, was strictly against his heir joining the armed forces. But after months of Elizabeth's begging, the King couldn't resist because she wanted to help her people and her country even when she was a teen. This fact makes Queen Elizabeth the only female member of the royal family to have served in the armed forces. And the only living head of state who served in World War II. If you're still not surprised about how incredible Her Majesty is, we have more for you. Check out our other videos about the Queen and the royal family. Thanks for watching and stay awesome!